Today we are building skyline diffusers and picture frames to hold and display vinyl record covers. This video is part 3 of the listening room build. In previous episodes of the series I built these acoustic screens as a backdrop for my LED TV and loudspeakers and I designed and built this enclosed hi-fi equipment rack. Uh, you can check the card top right corner or links for links to those videos or find the links in the description box below. I am starting with a skyline diffuser bolt and it requires cutting lots of wood on the table saw. But what is a skyline diffuser and why would you need one? Uh, most of us in our rooms where we listen to music will need some form of acoustic absorption and or diffusion. Ideally we do not want a room to sound too dead. Uh, this is caused by having too much absorption in the room. Uh, rather we want a good balance between absorption and diffusion. A skyline diffuser essentially scatters sound both horizontally, horizontally and vertically to treat problematic reflections and give your room a more neutral acoustic response. Uh, this two-dimensional scattering broadens the soundscape and makes a room sound larger. My listening room is fairly large and I would not really need diffusion. However, I have a wall that needs some visual appeal and I really like the way these Skyline diffusers look. So mine was designed to be fairly small and more of an artwork rather than functional. I will put a link to the online calculator I used to calculate the diffuser in the description box below if you want to design and build your own. This type of build is fairly easy, but it can be time consuming. I used regular fast set PVA wood glue to glue all the blocks together uh, without the need for any clamping. However, you can also glue the blocks to a plywood backing board for example. It will also make sense and be better to sand all the blocks before you glue them together. Uh, for a finish I used the water based polyurethane and, and applied it with a brush. To mount the diffuser securely to the wall, I found these keyhole brackets on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And here just writing out a recess into which the brackets can fit and I can mount the diffuser flush to the wall. This is the second part of the build and I am cutting the backboard for the vinyl record frames from 16mm MDF and also the frames itself from 18mm birch plywood. I set up the mitre gauge on the table saw to cut the 45 degree mitres for the frames. This mitre gauge is from banggood.com and of excellent quality. Uh, I would recommend it as a replacement for some of the cheap mitre gauges that comes with some table saws as standard. Uh, you will find a purchase link in the description box below. The next step is to cut a rebate in the frame pieces that will hold the record in place once the frame is assembled. Unfortunately I lost the footage of the frame being glued up but it's a pretty uh, straightforward procedure. I used a square wood glue and a few pin nails in, on each corner. To 
strengthen the joint, I'm cutting a slot in each corner and gluing in a spline of solid wood. Here again I am using the same key or brackets that I used on the skyline diffusers to hang the frames on the wall. Originally I wanted to use magnets to hold the frame in place after inserting a record. This way it is easily removed and replaced with another. However, during lockdown I have not been able to get my hands on magnets that would be suitable. So I'll do this at a later stage. In the meantime, I'm just screwing the backboard to the frame with a few small screws on each side. Both diffusers and the record frames are all hung on the wall with nylon anchors. After marking the locations I can drill the holes, insert the nylon anchors and hook on the diffusers and the frames with the keyhole brackets. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this third part of the listening room build series. There are a few more things to do in this room, but I think that will come after some other projects that I'm currently working on. So don't miss out. Click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming project videos. Thank you again to all my patrons that help make these videos possible and if you want to support me please go to my Patreon page and become a patron where I feature what happens behind the scenes and where you can get downloads to some of the projects I work on. Until next time, adios.